In this video, we're talking about seven different types of jobs that you can have as an electrical engineer that make over $100,000 a year, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and welcome back to the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. So if this is you, make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. Find the links below for the 1% Engineer Kit, the Discord server with over 1,000 engineers, access to our IG page, and plenty of other great videos. We have 140 episodes of this show for your engineering success. Electrical engineering is one of the largest engineering subfields. In fact, around here, we call it one of the big three. There's only three types of engineering that go over 300,000 employees in America, which is electrical, civil, and mechanical engineering. The Bureau of Labor Statistics data for 2019 just came out, and you'll see that electrical engineering is just behind civil engineering with the most popular type of engineering in the country. Either way, 328,000 jobs exist for electrical engineers in America right now. And because there are so many, there are so many different job avenues and niches and sub-disciplines that you can pursue for your career. Most of them can make a good bit of money. Some of them make exorbitant money, but there are so few jobs for that niche that they've been left out of this video. Comment below on what type of electrical engineer you're trying to be and what is your dream job. Maybe we can make a video about that. This video focuses on the seven most likely niches that all make over $100,000 for their median income so that you know which sub-disciplines have the highest chances of success and you will also make make a good salary. We should also include the fact that there are two branches of electrical engineering, which is pure electrical engineering and also electronics engineering. Electrical engineers are concerned mainly with the large scale production and distribution of electrical power, while electronics engineers focus on much smaller electronic circuits. There are 193,000 electrical engineering jobs and 135,000 electronics engineering jobs in the United States. Some of these job categories apply to electrical, some of them apply to electronics, but oftentimes you will see the degree be called electrical and electronics or electrical because you can get jobs in electronics engineering. They overlap so thoroughly that all of you who are studying double E or triple E in school can get either one of these positions. With that being said, let's jump into position number one, which is electrical engineering services. There are several subcategories within electrical engineering services. So let's run through a couple of those right now. Facilities electrical design. This is when a qualified electrical engineering consultant plans for and creates electrical components equipment, power systems, and other forms of infrastructure for a facility. You may work on power distribution and systems design. A power distribution system is the process of ensuring electrical services are at the right size and designed to appropriately meet the needs of a certain facility's electrical load usage. You could work on load list preparation. This is a document that is crucial to the operations of a facility's electrical systems. It is the base of all electrical system design. It is a living document that should be updated even after the facility is in operation. Operation. You could work on surge protection. Surges can cause electrical system breaks and pauses to power or even lead to electrical fires, which are one of the main causes of industrial fires. You could work on lightning protection. This is a system put in place to protect your facility from damage from lightning strikes. It creates a path to ground for potential lightning strikes so they do not cause major issues within your building and its electrical systems. There are plenty of other engineering consultant services that you could work on within just pure electrical engineering, but these are some of the main ones. 41,000 engineers are employed by architectural or engineering or related service consulting positions. It's the largest type of engineering job that you can get. Annual mean salary is $103,000. Next up, number two, we have telecommunications engineering. This is an electronics and communication engineering branch that deals with analog transmission, digital transmission, reception of video, voice and data, basic electronics, solid state devices, microprocessors, digital and analog communication, analog integrated circuits, satellite communication, microwave engineering, and antenna and wave progression. It also deals with the manufacturing of electronic devices, circuits, and communications equipment like the transmitter, receiver, integrated circuits, microwaves, and fiber, among others. It aims to deepen the knowledge and skills of the students on the basic concepts and theories that will equip them in their professional work involving analysis, systems implementation, operation, production, and the maintenance of the various applications in the field of electronics and communications engineering. There are 23,000 telecommunications engineers employed in America, and the annual mean salary is just over $103,000. Next up, the third type of electrical engineering jobs is semiconductor and other component manufacturing. 
Semiconductor engineers generally work with semiconductors, which are devices which conduct heat between conductor and insulators. They also work directly or indirectly with computers to develop, test, and implement semiconductors for everyday use and are responsible for identifying and resolving a variety of problems which may arise. Semiconductor engineers are often tasked with custom designing semiconductors for companies which may want specifically requested items. Through processes called water bonding and etching, these engineers create the desired pathways atop the silicon wafer that will make up the semiconductor as a whole when the product is finished. There are nearly 19,000 semiconductor and other electronic component engineers in America. These engineers do a little bit better at a mean wage of $114,000 a year. All right, next up we have a huge bracket within electrical engineering, which is power engineering. Power engineering. Man. Power engineering is a huge bracket within electrical engineering and one of the only types of engineering where electrical engineers sit for the professional engineering exam. Power engineering is one of the earliest fields that has developed within electrical engineering. It deals with generation, transmission, and distribution of electric power. Power engineers also work on a variety of power devices and work on power conversion, which is the process of transforming power from one form to another, as in electromechanical or electrochemical processes. Many power engineers are part of the large team that builds, maintains, and develops the large networks that connects power generators with the use of this power, which is the power grid. These engineers who work for power utility companies of governments that maintain power grids design components for the grid, architectures for the grid, and devices that either supply power to the grid or draw power from it. Devices that power engineers design and work with include generators, transformers, circuit breakers, relays, and transmission lines. There are nearly 18,000 electric engineers working on electric power they make just over a hundred and one thousand dollars a year okay the fifth type of electrical engineering job that we're going to talk about is navigational measuring electromedical and control instrument manufacturing roles we're going to paraphrase the bureau of labor statistics information by saying this is an instrumentation and control electrical engineer an instrumentation and control engineer is responsible for installing and designing technical components for engineering systems that would support production and manufacturing processes instrumentation and control engineers inspect control systems, modify features and infrastructure, configure controllers, and run multiple quality checks to ensure stability and optimal performance. They must have excellent communication and technical skills, especially in developing system codes and analyzing programming languages to serve control functions and development. An instrumentation and control engineer also resolves system issues and writes resolution reports for reference. There are nearly 13,000 instrumentation and controls engineers employed in America, and these make $109,000 a year. Okay, subcategory number six, which is aerospace product and parts manufacturing. There's a bunch of different engineers that can work on aerospace engineering. For example, mechanical engineers can design the parts. They can also work with the thermal and combustion element of aerospace engineering. And same thing with electrical engineers. You can work on circuitry, you can work on power, but this specific larger niche within electrical engineering careers for aerospace engineering is the product and parts manufacturing. The part that the actual electrical engineers work on, that part is what this job aspect is for. The industry comprises establishments primarily engaged in one or more of the following, including manufacturing complete aircraft, missiles or space vehicles, manufacturing aerospace engines, propulsion units, auxiliary equipment or parts, developing and making prototypes to aerospace products, aircraft conversion, which includes major modifications to systems, and complete aircraft or propulsion system overhaul and rebuilding, which includes periodic restoration of aircraft to original design specifications. Companies in this avenue would be like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, Boeing. There are just over 10,000 engineers employed in this category, aerospace product and parts manufacturing, and they make just under $116,000 a year. Okay, the last subcategory for electrical engineering jobs is scientific research and development services. Basically, an electrical engineer working in R&D, research and development. This is an R&D engineering job description. We are seeking a talented R&D engineer to assist with the design and testing of our new range of products. In this role, you'll be working closely with the R&D team to create functional design concepts, test existing designs, and oversee the implementation of development projects. 
you may also be spearheading the redesign of existing products. To ensure success, you should have exceptional mathematical skills, a talent for design, and experience with team management. Top R&D engineers use their technical design skills to create functional and attractive products that are cost-effective and user-friendly. There's just over 10,000 engineers in America working in this field, scientific R&D services, and they make just over $115,000 a year. So there you have it, guys, seven job types that you can do as an electrical or electronics engineer and make over $100,000 a year. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, comment below and let us know what type of engineering problem you have, what type of videos you wanna see next year, and whatever types of things you're trying to figure out, and we'll make a video just for that. We release one video a week for your engineering success, so if you wanna to rise to the top 1% of your engineering career, then make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. Check out the links below for the 1% Engineer Kit, access to our Discord server with 1,000 engineers, our IG page, and more. Check out the rest of the channel where you can find 140 videos for your engineering success. Thanks again, 1% Nation, and we'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.